Hey everyone, it's the Urban Window Farmer. Just wanted to give an update on my passion fruit grow experiment. So again, I took um, a passion fruit that I found at a gr local grocery store and then started planting the seeds and this is uh, the result. Uh, I am in uh, USDA Zone 5B, in case anyone's wondering. And we're in, the, we're in the beginning of July, so we have a few more months, maybe a couple more months of, of outdoor growth uh, time uh, available. So this is a three gallon grow bag. I have regular potting soil in the middle, and then I have mulch on top. I'm using a 3D printed trellis uh, right here, this orange trellis. And this is one of my more medium-sized plants. As you see, the, the um, leaf growth is it's like this when it's medium-sized and it starts to change a little bit. And I'll show you that in a moment. All right, let me go and show you my other plants. Here's another one of my plants. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger than the one I showed, uh, but there are two plants in the bag, in the three gallon grow bag, which is not ideal. Um, this one hasn't really started to create any tendrils yet, any binding tendrils, um, but I have a couple other ones that have already started to, to um, produce tendrils and actually grab a hold of structures. Look down here. So this one started to grow pretty long, and if you see, it started to, to grab a hold of the um, the railing here. So there's several tendrils. I've been experimenting with different kinds of structures, so I've used um, bamboo, this one right here is attached to a bamboo uh, st uh, stake, and then this one of course is 3D printed, and then this one I just bought from the local store for like three bucks, um, so it's kind of like a tomato cage, but it's, it's already grown so, so large that it's it's starting to attach to the railing here, so let's get it in the cage. This one again, uh, bamboo. This one, another tomato cage for the structure. And this one goes all the way out to here. And actually it's attached to another plant right here. So this tendril is attached to this this plant, so they're they're fighting it out a little bit. This one, I took two bamboo sticks and, and kind of uh, uh, wire tied them together because it wasn't tall enough. So that's the structure of this one. And another one over here also using a bamboo stake. There's two more over here that are also using bamboo sticks. And then this one is real small, so there's no need for a stick yet. So they were all planted at the same time, but they some of them have grown much faster than others, some of them much faster because I transplanted them sooner than the other ones, so that's why they grew uh, at a faster pace. I wanted to mention the leaf structure. Um, so in the beginning of the growth, you, st you start to get like leaves that are, are kind of like this shape. And then it seems like once they start to put up vines, the structure changes to something like this. Um, I'm no expert. This is my first time growing uh, passion fruit, but it, I'm just noticing that. Okay. Right, so let me give you guys just a quick 
section okay so here's all the plants so this whole section of my porch is all passion fruit with exception to um, this right here is, is a citrus plant but the rest are all passion fruit so take a look again this is a few months of growth and I'm hoping we have enough seed uh, time left for them to start flowering. None of them have started flowering yet. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. If you like this kind of content, please do subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.